Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Once Upon a Crescent, a collection of stories for young Muslim children. I am your author and storyteller, Mrs. Hashmi. This is season two, and for season two, I'm going to need my lovely listeners to really tap into their imagination. I'll be saying the story, but your imagination is what will bring it to life. Today's story is called Safi the Squirrel. Safi the Squirrel hurried along a pathway of trees to get to a large park. There was a picnic being held there. Safi's friends had been waiting for some time now. Two of his friends were standing in line at an ice cream stand nearby, waiting to be served ice cream. Safi panted, running out of breath as he finally joined his friends at the end of the line. Assalamu alaikum, he greeted his friends. Oh, wa alaykum as salam, Safi, they replied cheerfully. We were just talking about you and wondering when you would show up to the picnic, his friend Sama said. Sorry I'm late, I got up this morning to a rough start. First, I couldn't find any of my sunflower seeds for breakfast. I think someone may have found my secret stash, Safi said, looking around suspiciously to the other squirrels at the picnic. Then I was scurrying along the pathway under the trees when I tripped over this random dog leash on the ground. My feet got all tangled up. That made me trip and I landed right on my face, Seffy the squirrel exclaimed, rubbing his sore little nose. Sama the squirrel, his very sympathetic friend, patted him on the back and said, Wow, that definitely sounds like a rough morning. I'm glad you're here, though. I bet this ice cream treat will make you feel better. Safi looked ahead to the ice cream stand selection of ice cream. <gasps> Ooh, I hope so, he said, licking his lips in excitement. Mustafa, Safi's other friend, was bouncing from one foot to the other in eagerness. Oh, you guys, there are so many combinations we could create at this ice cream stand. I'm so glad we're next. I'm adding sprinkles to mine. No, maybe I should do marshmallows. No, maybe I should do M&Ms. No, maybe I should do coconut flakes. Uh, No, maybe I should do Oreos. No, 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 maybe I should do nuts. No, maybe I should do fruit. Uh, Maybe I do fruit and nuts. Mustafa was now officially talking to himself, discussing the ice cream possibilities. His friends smiled at Mustafa's excitement. The line started moving. As Mustafa and Sama created their ice creams and picked their flavors and toppings, Safi was distracted and lost in thought. He was still feeling very irritated and grumpy over how poorly his morning went. Oh, I just don't get why people leave their things lying around like that. I mean, that dog's leash should have been picked up and placed on a bench at least. Seffy was grumbling to himself. He was interrupted by a fellow squirrel from behind him. Seffy, it's your turn to have your ice cream made. We're waiting on you. Seffy looked behind him to see that the line had quickly grown. More squirrels were eagerly waiting to get their little claws on an ice cream cone themselves. Safi spotted a dog in the far corner running around with its leash in its mouth. (coughs) So it's that dog's leash that I tripped over. Seeing the dog made Safi feel annoyed and grumpy all over again. Come on, brother, we need you to pick your ice cream so this line gets moving, said the ice cream stand squirrel. Oh, I'm so sorry, I kind of zoned out there. Suffy rushed to the front of the stand. Uh, I'll take a vanilla scoop with the, um, uh, and isn't that dog so annoying, right? Suffy huffed and hurriedly paid for the ice cream while keeping his eyes focused on the dog. The dog was far away, minding its own business, but for some reason, Safi felt very drawn into focusing on that dog. When he joined his friends, Mustafa took one look at Safi's ice cream and exclaimed, Oh, okay, interesting choice, Safi. Plain and simple. I like it. 
Safi glanced down at his ice cream and compared it to his friend's. Mustafa really thought out his ice cream cone combination, Safi thought to himself. Mustafa had two scoops of different flavors, blended and swirled as one. There was chocolate ice cream, blended with a coconut flavor, with mango bits mixed inside. Mustafa topped off his cone with tiny, fluffy marshmallows, M&M candy bits, and sprinkles. Safi was amazed that Mustafa's top layer of ice cream could even hold all of these toppings. Sama was already licking into her extravagant ice cream too. Hers was a strawberry-flavored ice cream swirled with a cotton candy scoop. The beautiful pink and blue colors blended in a waffle cone looked delicious. Sama was picking off the crushed cookie that covered her top layer when she stopped suddenly and said, Oh no, I forgot to say bismillah. Another squirrel passing by reassured Sama. When you forget to say bismillah, this is the dua you say. Bismillahi fi awalihi wa akhir. Sama smiled at this friendly stranger and repeated that dua in her heart. Safi looked to his plain ice cream and felt pretty grumpy and disappointed. Ugh, maybe I shouldn't have been so focused on that dog. I let his barks really take over my mood. I didn't get a chance to properly enjoy creating an ice cream cone combination like you guys did. Mustafa stared at his friend blankly. Oh, so you didn't intend for yours to be plain and simple? No, not at all, Safi replied. Oh, okay, good, because I was really secretly wondering why you didn't make yours more interesting. I mean, you love sprinkles. You really could have added sprinkles. Or you could have added a cookie dough. Or you could have added nuts. Or you could have added jelly beans. Or you could have added toffee. Mustafa trailed off, talking to himself again about the ice cream possibilities. Yeah, I know, Safi said. I would have done something completely different if I wasn't so grumpy about my morning. I just let it carry through my whole day and ruin my ice cream experience. Sama whispered something to Mustafa, and Mustafa looked up with a sparkle in his eye. He flashed a smile and scurried back to the ice cream stand with Sama and brought back a spoon. Sama scraped off half of her toppings and Mustafa scraped off half of his toppings onto the spoon. Mustafa approached Safi and cheerfully said, Presenting the most interesting combination of all, I'm going to call this the terrific topping combination. Or maybe I should call it the tasting topping tower or maybe I should call it a triple topping combo or maybe Mustafa was officially talking to himself again trying to come up with a name for this mixture of toppings for Safi. Safi and Sama laughed at their cheerful friend. Safi watched as Sama carefully smoothed over Safi's plain top layer of vanilla ice cream to make room for this delicious new clump of toppings and flavors. Safi felt so special. He looked to his friends and said, Ah, you guys, you really didn't have to. I feel bad now. Your ice cream, uh, it looks half plain because you shared it with me. Mustafa put his furry squirrel arm around his friend and said, It's like what the Prophet ﷺ said, Love for your brother what you love for yourself. Sama chimed in, Yes, we love these flavors, so we want you to have the same experience as us. If I was in a bad mood, I would want someone to show me kindness. Safi was touched by his friend's generosity. He looked down at his amazing mixture of crushed cookies, teensy marshmallows, M&Ms, and sprinkles, and couldn't help but say, Alhamdulillah, may Allah reward you for your sweet generosity, Safi said. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. The three squirrel friends happily licked into their ice cream cones. 
And Seffy the squirrel made a promise to himself in his heart to not let a grumpy mood carry on to the rest of his day. For the next ice cream experience, he'll make sure to focus on the present, not the past. Jazakallah khair everyone for your time and support. If you've enjoyed this story, please subscribe and feel free to share with other families and friends to help spread the word about this podcast.